Comparing text in multiple documents, this time on Hacktip. Welcome to Hacktip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morse, and today we are comparing multiple documents in the Linux terminal with com, diff, and patch. Now, comparing text documents can be incredibly useful if you are a systems admin or working on data analysis. You can compare similar files to see where the changes have been made in a quick and efficient way. For example, I have created two different files called Birthdays Sorted and Birthdays Sorted Edit, which have just a few differences between them. So to compare them, I would type in com birthday sorted and then I would type in the second name of the file. So this one is called sorted edit and hit enter. Okay, so this looks a little janky, but trust me, it's supposed to look that, that way. So this will show me three different columns of output. So here's the first column, here's the second column, and here's the third column over here. The first line is just for file one's unique line. So in this case, the Michiru line right here is unique, the Setsuna line and the Usagi line. Those are all the unique lines. The second line is for lines that are unique just to the second file. And then the same thing for the third column. The third column column shows data that is the same for both files. So here's the second file. This is unique right here. Setsuna Mayo is unique right there. And then, oops, and Usagi, ah, I'm so bad at highlighting things. Usagi 0632, so that is the unique line there. So you'll notice that between file one and file two, that changed to 30 to 32. And in this case, it was Setsuna to Setsuna Mayo. And for the Michiru line, it goes 03 to 04. So that's what I changed in between those two files. And then this last line, which starts with Amy, Haruka, Hotaro, Makoto, all of those are the same. Neither of them changed between the files. So you can see the differences in these files are just for those three lines. And if I add attack three, then it'll suppress line three, so I only see the change data. So in that case, that would look like com, actually I'll just tab up, there we go, and put in tag three, like that. There we go. So this time it just suppresses line three because those are all the same, so we don't really want to see them. We just want to see the three lines that changed. So next up is diff, which is spelled D-I-F-F. -F. Diff is similar to com in that it detects differences in files, but it does not require all of those files to be in the same output format. So for example, if I type in diff, birthday sorted, birthday sorted edit, you'll see an example of the diff output. And in this case, I'm just gonna reuse that com one so I don't have to type them in all over again. There we go. Okay, so it does look a little weird again. In this example, you're going to see some weird bunches of characters and numbers. You see that 5C5 at the beginning, and you see that 89C89. So what does this mean? This is a change command in the form of range operation range. So in this case, it's telling us to change range one, which is five, and change it to range two, which is also line five in the second file, in order for the two files to be the same. It's the same thing for this eight and nine, that's line eight, line nine, changed to line eight, line nine in the second file. You can also use options such as tac C for context format or tac U for unified format. So if I add the tac C option, for example, like this, that would be diff tac C then you'll notice that the two files are separated, but you can still see where those differences are. So the first one, birthday sorted, is sorted by an asterisk. The second one is separated by uh, dashes instead. So under the asterisk one is the first file. Under the dashes down here is the second file. And if I highlight it, you can see it a little bit better. There's file two right there. Now the two comma nine, that means that it is just showing lines two through nine from the file and the X exclamation that you see at the beginning of just a few of those lines, just happens to be three lines, that means that the line has changed. If you see a plus in the place of that exclamation mark or a minus, then that means that a line was either added or deleted. And lastly, tack U is basically the same thing, but it ha it's much more concise, so it's a lot easier to read. So if I put in tack U, then you'll notice that it has kind of abbreviated all the information from the two files and it is just showing me one file of, of everything that is the same and then it shows me a 
subtraction or an addition. So in this case, the two files are combined and the changes are again shown with that plus or that minus. So now we have officially covered both com and diff, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break to thank our sponsor. IT people, you know how it is. When all of those alerts and tickets light up your monitor like a Christmas tree, you're not being productive, you're just stressed out. No mere mortal can analyze all of those alerts and respond to all of those tickets. But I have good news, you can immediately reduce that noise with Moogsoft AI Ops. Moogsoft AI Ops is an algorithmic IT ops platform that reduces your IT alerts and tickets by up to 99%, guaranteed. Moogsoft AI Ops platform integrates with all of your existing IT tools. Moogsoft's patented technology correlates events into actionable work items, they call them situations, so that you can focus on tackling the stuff that really matters. For example, in one case study, a company was experiencing tons of alert fatigue, lack of context, and thousands upon thousands of tickets. Moogsoft help with that reactive approach to incident response tickets by enabling time to value, easing the integration of ITSM tools and existing monitoring, and increasing the quality of event correlation across multiple tools. And they saw a 33% reduction in mean time to restore in the business. With Moogsoft AI Ops, you can reduce your IT alerts and tickets by up to 99% right now. Visit Moogsoft.com to get a demo. That is M-O-O-G-S-O-F-T dot com. Moogsoft.com. We're now back with multiple text documents, so let's go ahead and chat about patch. This command can allow you to append small changes to an older file. So this is very similar to how a developer can patch source code without updating an entire program. Say patch Tuesday on a Windows operating system, that happens whenever they patch some code. So you don't have to reinstall the entirety of the operating system, it just patches whatever needs to be patched with the updated code and it appends it to your older file. So patching takes less time and it is very, very small in size as opposed to reinstalling the entire file. In my case, I'm using a very small text document. So to patch a file, let's take a look at my two birthday text docs again. I'm going to type in a new one, it's diff. I'm using diff again, tap N-A-U-R, and check out the man page for exactly what these mean. And then I'll type in birthdays sorted and birthdays sorted edit. And in this case, I'm going to create a new file called patch, uh, we'll call it patchbday.txt and hit enter. Okay, so you shouldn't see anything in the standard output because it is creating that new file. This is going to create a new file called patchbday.txt. Now, if I cat this file, cat patch, oop, I can spell really. Then you'll notice that it has all the information from both of the files, including what has been deleted and what has been added or what has been changed between those two files. Now I'm going to type in patch and patch2, patchbday.txt. And it is going to say patching file, birthday sorted. Obviously it does not take very long to patch that old birthday sorted file because it's a teeny tiny text document. But now if I cat that original file, which was called birthday sorted, then you'll notice it has updated birthday sorted with all of the new information. Most notably, you can see that Sasuna now has that last name, Mayo, included on that text line in that field. Pretty cool and surprisingly easy. Now stay tuned because coming up on Hack Tip next week, I'll be sharing a couple of different new ways to edit multiple files in one go. Until then, I want to hear your feedback. You can comment below or you can hit me up tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show Hack5 for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.